Yo, yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you for showing out, bringing the energy and bringing the vibe to the channel once again. I appreciate you guys. Check it out. Just got back from New York, currently back in the H, also known as Houston, Texas. My family and I just finished selling a home and it feels amazing. It was a very hard and long process, okay? We had to move every single item in the house, outside of the house, into a dumpster, sell a bunch of items. It was a very long process, but it feels good to finally be done. Shout out to my brothers that helped me out, because if it wasn't for them, I'd be crumbling right now with all the heavy items. Now, with moving a bunch of items, I'm not feeling hurt, just sore and fatigued. Not hurt, sore and fatigued. So today I wanna show you guys how I recover fast when I'm sore and the steps that I take to get back to feeling 100%. It's so important for you to recover, refill, and rest your body in order to keep going, okay? So I'm gonna take you guys through these steps today, and let's get started with step number one. Let's get it. First step to a fast recovery is the amount of water that you're drinking, okay? You gotta hydrate the body. And I feel like I'm repeating this all the time, but I'm big into health, I'm big into wellness, and it's something everybody needs to know. You gotta refuel your body and hydrate your body, okay? And especially when it comes to a fast recovery, you need to replenish your body. With your body being made up of mainly water, you can only imagine that you need a lot of it, okay? Now, if you're somebody that works a very busy schedule and you're like, I don't have time for food, I don't have time for this and that, then I'm sorry, you're just gonna be hurting yourself in the long run because in order for you to recover properly and for your brain to function properly in your body, then you need water in your life. It could be spring water, it could be alkaline water, it could be vegan water, okay? They all have different benefits, but water is a healer. Water is gonna help you heal, it's gonna help you recover and replenish your body. It's gonna benefit you mentally and physically as well. So make sure you're drinking lots of water. What I was told and what has helped me along my process of just healing and recovering is drinking half your body weight in ounces of water. So if you weigh 200 pounds, then you would drink 100 ounces of water. And every single time I do this, it works for me. And the next day, I'm feeling replenished. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling ready to go, okay? So make sure you're drinking lots of water, guys. That's gonna be one of the main steps to recovering fast, okay? So these are pineapples I froze a few days ago and I'm about to make pineapple water. Now let me be honest, I came up with this idea because when I was younger, I used to drink a lot of juice and I had to stop drinking juice because no nutritional benefit, a lot of synthetic sugars, blah, 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 whoop de whoop. So besides the water that I love to drink, okay, vegan water, quote, quote, pineapple water was a great way to add this into my liquid family because it's flavorful and it also has nutritional benefit. So. An extract from pineapple is called bromelain. It's extracted from a pineapple and it can help with inflammation in the body, okay? So if you have any swelling in the body, inflammation in the body, it can help with that, which is, could be leading to any soreness you're dealing with. So this tastes very good. You throw it in the blender with some water, blend it up, very quick to make, and man, just enjoy. Next step, guys, to a fast recovery is going to be my friend, the foam roller, okay? I've had the foam roller for about three to five years now, and I love this thing. You could purchase you one on Amazon for about 15 to $20. This is your own personal massage, okay? But to be used, not abuse. You wanna make sure you know what you're doing while using the foam roller. Make sure you go check out some YouTube videos of people using the foam roller. Any tender or stiff areas you have in your body, focus on that area. So if it's your upper back, stay in that area until you release that tenderness, okay? This is gonna help you increase your range of motion. This is gonna help you circulate more blood flow in areas that need to heal, need to recover. So my routine is typically about 10 minutes and I only focus on areas that really need that work, for real. <laughs>
check it out guys whether you believe it or not a big part of the recovery process is what you put into your body so it's not just the physical obviously it's the internal too so right here my beloved Isela made me a beautiful sushi bowl look how beautiful this thing looks look at the colors okay look at the colors got a bunch of different raw organic foods in this bowl okay so whenever you're trying to recover you want to make sure that you give your body a break so that your body can go into that natural healing process if you just keep putting toxins in your body it's going to be hard for it to recover okay it's going to mess with your energy levels etc so anytime you're trying to recover fast avoid the processed foods on that day enjoy something nice and clean some fruit some vegetables maybe a smoothie maybe a sushi bowl okay try something different less food on those days easier reco recovery okay so i'm gonna dive into this bowl um my first time trying this was yesterday and she made it for me again because i loved it that much let me just mix this all together some korean barbecue sauce on here that he picked up the other day and I really, really like it. So good, tasty. Eventually, we just gonna have to drop like a, a collab plant-based cookbook for y'all because we be eating good over here, I promise, sensational. I'm supposed to say sensational after I eat the food. Yo, so feeling amazing, feeling fresh after that meal. Rested for a little bit, just chilled out, watched the I Am Athlete podcast with B. Marshall, Channon, Ocho, Fred. It's so important for you to rest, okay? Rest is a big part of your recovery mentally and physically. Moving on to the next, this is my stretching and mobility. If you know, you know I'm very passionate about movement, okay? The body benefits in movement, the mind benefits in stillness. So you wanna be able to move the body freely. It's gonna help you deal with any stress or tension you may have on your muscles. So I typically like to do a 10 to 15 minute routine, moving freely, just areas I feel like listening to my body that I need to stretch, that I need to have more mobility in. For example, if you guys are at home watching this or you don't wanna do this if you're in the car, but if you're watching this at home, if you wanna raise your arm, right above your ear right next to your ear if your shoulder blade can't go past your ear then you're probably lacking some mobility in your shoulder so it's so important for you to pay attention to these areas in your body because this is what's affecting you this is what's leading to that soreness okay and if you want to ease that soreness listen to the body and move freely okay body benefits in movement mind benefits in stillness <laughs> Now, of course, we couldn't make it through a how to recover fast when sore video without the ice. Man, the type of magic that cold temperatures, ice in general, has on the body is truly magnificent. It's the same reason why you see these high-level athletes training multiple times a day, icing in between periods, quarters, halves. It's going to give you longevity, okay? Ice will do something for your body. Cold temperatures will do something for your body. That stretching and mobility can't. That foam rolling can't. And that eating clean can't. They all have different benefits, of course, and they all serve a purpose, but icing just like when we were kids if we twisted an ankle we banged their knee they'd give us some ice to stop the swelling so if you've been dealing with the area of your body that's really been bothering you and you've been stretching a lot and it hasn't helped try icing it could be a lot of inflammation and typically humans carry a lot of inflammation in the body so try it out cold temperatures maybe a cold shower it makes all the difference try it out all right guys so i basically just wanted to conclude this video it is six 04 right now 604 p.m wrapping up my recovery day now i just wanted to let you guys know i say this all the time i know this is a recover fast video but this all goes hand in hand invest into yourself invest into yourself your mental health your body man this is what's going to guide you in the long run this is longevity a lot of us focus our attention on all these things that don't matter these materialistic items these relationships all this kind of stuff that doesn't matter invest into yourself 
So if you're dealing with some type of soreness in your body or just all around stress in your body, give it attention, okay? Give it attention because that way you're going to have more inspiration. You're going to be more inspired to actually heal what you're dealing with because a lot of the time people that have back problems or they have problems with their feet or whatever, neck problems, is because they're not doing the things to get back to 100%. They're just dealing with it and you don't have to deal with it. Just invest a little time, little by little into your health which is essential, right? Invest your time into that and get back to feeling how you should be feeling, okay? You don't wanna sleep on the body because this is the body that gets you around every single day. So it would make no sense to sleep on it because once that breaks down, gotta think about it that way, man. It's the bigger picture kind of thing. But thank you guys so much for making it to the end and family. Make sure to spam up the E and D in the comment section. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. And as always, stay true to self, and I will see y'all in the next one. I'm out.